Hi, I'm Alan Meyerson. Welcome to Studio M at Remote Control Productions in Santa Monica. The projects you might know that I've done in here recently were like Dune and Dunkirk, uh, Interstellar, uh, Aquaman, uh, but this room has been fantastic for me. When I was gonna build the studio, I decided that I was gonna build a studio I loved being in, and I was gonna make it exactly the way I wanted. There was no edit room or recording space. We had to move a couple of walls, put in about two and a half tons of sand. So it really was just a labor of love. There was no architect plans or anything like that. And, you know, sometimes you get lucky. You want to be able to up mix from stereo, which is what your two speakers are in your head, to an, an immersive environment. So what this product does that I think is incredibly valuable to people who use it is they give you an indication or they give you that sense of what it would be like to be in a space with 7.1.4 in a room that sounds good. And I think you'll find that the opportunity of being able to envision your mixes in a surround environment is gonna give you advantages that you couldn't imagine. You change your concept of what depth and space means and It'll help your mixes because, you know, when you do that, you start understanding things about your mix that you didn't understand before. You know, it's certainly worth giving it a try and seeing what you think. I'm Gavin Lurson. And I'm Ruben Cohen. And we're both the principal mastering engineers at Lurson Mastering. A lot of people are under the impression that mastering is this corrective process only. And in other words, if your mix is perfect, why would you need mastering? the overall encompassing concept. It's the art of balance. To me, I'm most proud of the body of work because the dedication that we put into designing the console using the vintage analog technology and, and really making sure that, that the signal's clean and clear, that we've got depth of field and size. The body of work really is the thing that's important to me. It's the thing I pay attention to so that the sound is timeless. In a perfect world, a mixing environment and a mastering environment should tell you the truth, and it should be a very fluid process, and that there's nothing in the way between that connection between our ears and the speakers, because once that's locked in, uh, then we know exactly what to do. So it's imperative that we have that environment, and it's best if the mixer has that environment too, but sometimes it's not always available to them, or they're 98% there. Our job is to make sure that we're 100% there all the time. Everybody's working in a compromised environment. And there's a great barrier to entry to outfit a full-on uh, immersive studio. To see it in the format of students is very revealing because they're not going to come out into the world and just all of a sudden have all these speakers. They're going to be in Starbucks on a laptop with a pair of headphones. Without a personalized HRTF, you might experience something very different than what I would experience just based off our own personal anatomy your brain is going to size up space based off the distance between your eardrums, very much different than anybody else. So this software connects all of those gaps. You can hear the way we hear in this room, and you can make all the same decisions as though you're sitting next to us in this sweet spot, but from anywhere in the world. I could tell you that 90% of the mixing I do has nothing to do with EQ or compression. It has to do with where things are in imaging. I didn't have to think about it anymore. It was easy for me to mix in there felt very comfortable, it felt very familiar, which I don't put my name on anything unless I know it's as good as it can be, and this is great.